It's both a combination of what is inside you and what is at that time in the environment, in the scientific, in the educational environment, in the political environment. And um, so um, it boils down, and I'm sorry to repeat myself here, but it really it boils down and it has always boiled down to be inspired by a question. There's a question which interests you. The Latins, the Romans said, primum mirari, de inde philosophare. First to ask a question, mirari, what is what's going on, what is this? Why do they uh, defend themselves? And then philosophare, which meant globally, and then get into the, uh, the problem. So initially it's, it's in you. And it has to be in you. So you're, I mean, you're adults uh, in all, uh, by all means. And so you read a lot, uh, not only scientific literature, you read a lot uh, normal literature, Spanish literature, some French literature, and uh, probably Dan Brown, which happens in Barcelona, the last one, origin. You read that and then you, uh, by and by, you feel yourself uh, what you would like to, which field you would like to contribute, to, in which field you would feel at ease. And then comes the next question, now, then we go to, would you want to make a PhD? What would your family think of it? What do you, you don't maybe not need the advice of family? Where can you get a fellowship and so on? And then where to find a, a good supervisor who would also um, have an influence on your thinking. You would learn something from him. He would help you. He will not uh, keep you down and so on. It would help you just uh, to blossom. And then comes uh, the external milieu, not only the pollution uh, in the big cities, but comes uh, what is the attitude of your country versus science, uh, which I understand is not extremely positive in Spain right now. That's what I was told. It's not my judgment. And uh, so uh, what are the uh, opportunities, possibilities? What about going and spend two or three years outside in another country, and which I always recommend, and uh, whatever country you want to go to, and uh, then uh, by and by you, uh, I mean your feelings become stronger, and uh, you find reassured, or you realize really this is not a good way, and then if this comes to your mind at 28 or 30, you still can change, not totally your attitude towards science, but you can change your field. And it's often recommended. I'm not sure this is the best way, but often it's recommended after your PhD, you enter into a totally new field. You can do that.